Now let's go to prostate cancer. You mentioned, and you're correct, it's the second most common cause, second most common cancer in men, particularly over the age of 50, second only to uh, cancer of the lung. Both prostate cancer and lung cancer are lethal, but prostate cancer is very slow growing. The incidence of prostate cancer is about a one in 11. And it usually uh, is the point I wanna make, if there's anything I'd like to get across during this interview is that early prostate cancer has no symptoms. There are no symptoms. The urination problem is not indicative of prostate cancer. If the pr prostate cancer grows and it starts to have bleeding and it spreads to bones and other areas of the body, that's too late. And then it's difficult to be cured. And so I want to point out it's a disease of aging, not very common uh, in men under the age of 40, really very uncommon a little more common in 50 and 60. By the time someone is 80, almost all men over the age of 80, if they were to look at their prostate after when they die uh, from heart disease, diabetes, or another cancer, and they look at the prostate, they find cancer in the prostate. So my message is that you don't die from uh, necessarily from prostate cancer, but you die with it. Now, the good news is that there are screening tests, a blood test, it's called PSA, prostate specific antigen. It's a very simple blood test. It can be done as an outpatient and it if it is elevated, then there are additional tests and oftentimes a biopsy is, is required. Now, the important thing to remember is that this is a screening test. It doesn't mean a man has prostate cancer. There are many situations that can increase the PSA. Uh, the PSA can even increase if a man has sexual intimacy and has an orgasm and ejaculates the day before the test because the prostate gland squeezes and that can elevate the PSA. Let me back up a second. I never did mention the role of the prostate. When a man is younger, the prostate creates the fluid that allows the sperm to go and to, at the time of a sexual intimacy, uh, the sperm is in this nutrient fluid, the prostate fluid, and allows it to uh, uh, inseminate and to start the fertilization process and for the couple to, to have a child. So that's the purpose of the prostate. As we get older, we're not interested in reproducing anymore. The prostate really has no function. It really is bothersome, uh, particularly from the benign enlargement. But the point that I would like to make is that a man should have a discussion with his doctor about screening. Would the uh, patient want to know that if he is at risk for prostate cancer, and the risks are age, the older you are, the more likely you are to have it. African-American men have a higher risk than Caucasian men. And the other risk factor is if you have a close relative, brother, uncle, even cousin, it's less with cousin, brother, uncle, or father with prostate cancer, that is places you at a higher risk and you probably should start PSA testing uh, earlier. 
late 40s or early 50s. 